Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today uh, we are doing my August bullet journal plan with me. This should have been up at the beginning of the month, but I decided not to do it then. I didn't think I was going to use my bullet journal much this month. So I did a quick lazy spread that I haven't even looked at. And so I decided it was time to, you know, redo this. And so uh, my spread I started using on the 15th. Today for me is the 18th whenever I'm doing the boat voiceover. But I filmed this on the 14th. And I since since I filmed this, I've actually been using my bullet journal again, and my productivity has increased a good bit. Um, so I feel better. But yeah, I'm do going through and painting all the pages where I'm going to be painting first. That way if I um, use much water on any page, I don't have to worry about my pen ink r running. So I paint them, I blow dry them, which I cut out the parts where I blow dry them because that's just a little obnoxious. And yeah. But anyways, how is your guys' month going? So far, mine's going okay. Um, Rowan had to have tubes put in his ears at the beginning of the month. Or no, not the beginning. A few days ago, actually. We put we had to put tubes in Rowan's ears to help with, um, I guess, fluid drainage. And hopefully it will help with his speech as well. And then, um, we've mostly just been hanging out at home still. But, yeah, if you've read any this month, what all have you read? So far, I've read five books. Um, I read A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, The Lovely Bones by Alice Sibold, Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson, and Such Fun Age by Kylie Reed. And like, I think Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson is so far my favorite book I've read this month. That one was just, I loved it. Um, I loved how, I loved Mary's character, and I love that, like, throughout the whole story, you know how it's going to end, kind of. Like, you're flip-flopping because, like, it seems like there's only two possible things that could happen. But, like, it keeps you guessing until the very last minute about what's going to happen. And I really loved that book. It was such a good, good book. Um, I need to go back and read Let Me Hear Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. And I also want to read Grown whenever it comes out. I'm trying to catch up on her books that I know of. But so far, I really enjoyed Allegedly and Monday's Not Coming. At the moment, I'm also reading Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, and it's the second book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's like, it's okay. I'm only three chapters in, so keep that in mind. Um, so I'm not far in. It's just, I don't remember much from the first book. I'm not as excited to read this series as I was whenever I first bought it, and so I'm kind of like trying to, I'm hoping that this book will be good and help me get back into it so I can read the third book, because I really wanted to read the series before the um, Netflix show came out, because I want to be able to, you know, watch the show without the books being spoiled for me. But yeah, um, I don't dislike it, but I'm only three chapters in. And then I also started listening to the audiobook for Lobizona by... Romina Garber yesterday as well and I'm really enjoying this one um I'm not very far in I'm I'm trying to think of how far I am in because I'm listening to the audiobook I think I'm nine or ten chapters in uh she has like there's been an issue with ice in uh where she lives I think they live in Miami Florida and I don't really know what, how, what else to say about it because I know this book I think it came out at the begin beginning of the month I'm listening to the audiobook on script and so I don't want to say too much about it because, um, first, I didn't actually read the synopsis. I just kind of got one scribbed and looked for an audiobook because I need one while I grocery shopped. Um, actually, going into that, um, yesterday was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I had a doctor's appointment at about 8.30 yesterday morning. And then I had scheduled my grocery pickup for 10 um, at Walmart because that's just the easiest place to get groceries for us right now. Uh, we live in like a pretty rural rural area and I prefer Walmart over, over Kroger because that's where I've shopped for forever. But anyways, um, I sent my grocery pick up for 10 uh, because I didn't know how long my daughter's appointment was going to take, but I mean, 10 seems like a good time because there's almost no way it was going to take an hour and a half. And so it actually, I actually got it done and was at Walmart by 9. So like I got breakfast and then I went to Walmart and I went in and I got my sister's birthday present. Because for the past few months, I haven't actually had a chance to go into Walmart. I've just, not few months, excuse me. For the past few weeks, I haven't actually had a chance to go into Walmart myself. And so, um, I haven't got a chance to get my sister's birthday present yet. So I got that yesterday. And then I went back out and I found some, like, little, um, 
little on brand um what are they called earbuds like the wireless earbuds um for pretty cheap i don't want to buy the apple ones or anything because i don't want to lose anything that expensive that is also that small it's like little 21 20 dollar ones seem fine for me and so um i'm in the car waiting for my grocery pickup to be ready i'm reading a few pages of siege and storm on as the ebook on um scribd because i forgot to bring my physical copy to town with me and um i'm just kind of going through reading it and then i noticed it's like 10 30 and i haven't gotten an email or text about my groceries so i call try to figure out what's going on no answer and then at 11 i still haven't gotten an email or text message or anything notifying me about my groceries and like why they're running late so i call and cancel them um i go in and get my groceries and i listen to low zona while i'm while i'm getting my groceries so that was nice um i'm looking forward to doing that more often uh with the little earbuds and but um if you want to know how the walmart thing went i canceled my order at 11. at 2 they finally emailed me about my substitutions to my order even though it already been canceled um, and like most of my items were substituted, which is fine, um, cause I didn't put no substitutions on anything because I only put no substitutions on very few things and there was nothing on the list that I was worried about being substituted. Um, and then also at three, so four hours after I canceled my order and five hours after it should have been ready to pick up, to be picked up, Walmart emailed me that they canceled my order. Um, so it was just a little bit of a mess, um, and we live about 30 minutes out of town, so it's a little bit easy. So like whenever I put my um, pick up for 10, I'd wanted to get it at that time and go home. Because I've had a few issues, um, especially since the pandemic started, which makes sense, especially when things were crazy at the very, very beginning, back in like March and April. Um, there I guess be so many people ordering, but ordering grocery pickup, but also so many people not at work or sick out of work and stuff that uh, there'd be delays and the very first time that happened my groceries were delayed by six hours and their system messed up and they didn't email me or anything the second time it was delayed was sometime last month and it was only delayed by like an hour and a half but they sent me an email like an hour before my groceries were actually ready so that's why i was a little frustrated um with the whole issue um so sorry to complain at y'all for however long i just complained about walmart but we got our groceries and yeah Anyways, I use this um, Sharpie pen or Sharpie um, marker, silver marker, for all of my titles and stuff. And this marker actually broke on me at the end of this video. The back of the cap, um, or not the back of the cap, but the other side of the pen that I put the cap on whenever I'm writing, it broke and um, it wouldn't go back on. And then I actually messed up the uh, nub at the end, trying to put it back on before I realized what was the issue. Also, um, I just realized that you're about to see the blow dryer that I forgot to cut out for this little moon. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the spread and I hope your month is going well and I'm actually probably about to go ahead and cut out talking. But anyways, it was nice to catch up with you guys and talk about how my month is going and I hope yours is going well. And if you've read anything cool this month, please feel free to let me know. If you've read Lobizona by Romina Garber, please feel free to let talk to me about it in the comments. I really want to know what you think. So far, I'm really enjoying this book. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye. Uh, please enjoy the rest of this video.